Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support with a lot of strength this motion because many times I thought I was a tenant in Kenya. And I know I was born and raised in this nation. When a leader of a national figure discriminates openly, I left myself wondering if we can keep allowing to be divided every day and yet as leaders we must be a factor that uni unites all Kenyans. I want to ask the Deputy President what message was he sending to Busians who voted for Honorable Maina in Marachi West in but Butlak sub-county and what message was he sending to Busians who voted for Honorable Talam in Buhayo West in Matayos, Busia County. We should be free from Mombasa to Turukana, any person of any race, any tribe, to stand and be elected without being pointed at as this one belonging to a particular region and that one not belonging to our region. Because Kenya is our country. And we are here in this country to build it if we don't join, because if you go as an individual, you are a drop in the ocean. But together as Kenyans, we are an ocean. So I want to ask again, what other thing a principal assistant is supposed to do? According to me, unless you have a shrunken hippocampus in your brain, then you go displaying what your master is doing instead of being the real assistant of even covering up. One day he says, I was sent all these things I was saying. I was sent all these things I saying. It's like he is wearing an oversized coat, oversized trouser, a tumbo cut uh, vest, and oversized shoe. He does not understand his role as a principal uh, assistant. We must unravel from the seams of our fabric in this country. Because sometimes you can be wearing a dress or a trouser but something keeps biting you unless you unravel or open up the seam to know what is biting you you will continue losing blood and become anemic so a people of any nation are stronger than the people in power all leaders in this nation must be responsible of the utterances they puke every day because what will our future leaders be saying I am, I am, or who is our role model, who, who is their role model? All of us must be responsible not to give hate speech anywhere we go. And I don't think there is a tribe in Kenya that is superior than others. Whether you come from Eastern in Garissa or you come from Siamahanga village where I live, you are equal. Article 27, Section 4 is clear about this that we should not discriminate. When I hear a widow in Mount Kenya being tortured, being snatched property by the deputy president, whether she is Kikuyu and she's a widow, she is representing all the widows in Kenya. So Gashagwa return the matrimonial property, the bank accounts, everything that you took from that widow in Nyeri. Because I was raised by a widow and I know what happens when such things happen. A widow should be given their rights whether you have all the muscle in the nation. And thirdly, a leader who does not respect women, that one is not a leader. Calling women prostitutes. So when a woman is being a prostitute, who is the other prostitute? Then he must be the one. Because if you call me a prostitute, was I doing myself? There must be somebody in a trouser too. And we do not want us growing up or children fearing to marry from Mount Kenya or fearing to marry from Nyanza. That is wrong. So Deputy President must go home. We, we really want him to yes, just take uh, a rest. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Moya, what is your point of order? Speaker, I'm studying on, on studying order number 91 on matters of facts and substantiating what the member is speaking of. The issue of Malaya have been adversely mentioned in this house. Have we gotten, have you as the speaker received anything
failing to substantiate. Yeah. Honorable Speaker, it is on record that the Deputy Speaker, the Deputy President, has been crossing the whole country, campaigning for the same women, especially in Mount Kenya, where he was assigned. So it is unfair that members can continue repeating, you cannot substantiate, and there is no evidence. We should you have made evidence. Your point. Honorable members, order, take your seat. Honorable members, I want, with your concurrence, to reduce the time of the speakers to two minutes. Is that agreed?